Hello, I'm Jacob Lomax, your guide to the strangest films of all time. In this episode, I'm doing a eulogy for Isabel Coca Sarli, who seems to have little to no fanfare here in the USA, but is known as the Marilyn Monroe of South America for her sex symbol status, iconic figure that is the muse to many pop artists all over the world. Isabel Sarli recently passed away in June of 2019 at the age of 89 years old. Her career began as Miss Argentina in 1955, and from there she became a model and a film star. Sarli had the honor of being the first person to appear fully nude in an Argentinian film. She was the muse of actor-director Armando Bo. He wrote and directed 29 film vehicles for her, and their films were often persecuted by their government for sexually pushing the envelope, so to speak. Isabel Sarli, known as Coca Sarli, or just La Coca for her famous figure similarity to a Coke bottle, was also known as La Hygienica, or The Hygienic One, for her films featured Sarli bathing in rivers, streams, oceans, waterfalls, and even sometimes bathtubs. It is this weird movie lover's opinion that Sarli Bow's sexploitation films are some of the best in the genre. There is an intentional and unintentional hilarity to them. They're often disturbing, melodramatic, sexy, passionate, but also just downright strange. Sarli noted that the strange plot lines were often lifted from real life dramas that unfolded around them in Buenos Aires. It would be incorrect to peg the films as simple softcore, because beneath the panting, fierce sexuality of the characters she played lurked a macabre, grotesque beauty, and I'm going to explore the top five films that stick out in my mind in no real order of favoritism, but they represent the sexually strange style that, although is often compared to Russ Meyer, I think holds its own unique vision of Argentina and humankind's psychosexual nature. Number five, Carne. Released in 1968, Sarley plays a woman working at a meat packing plant where she is repeatedly assaulted by her male co-workers and unfortunately never tells her boyfriend or anyone about the attacks. She feels such shame that she deliberately tries to freeze herself to death in a giant industrial freezer but it's fortunately rescued and thought out before it's too late. Many of Armando Bo's films have a documentary feel to them, and the real meatpacking plant where the film is set gives it a very creepy atmosphere and really nails home the brutal message of sexual harassment and women in the workplace. Uh, this film, as in many others directed by Armando Bo, he cast his son, Victor Bo, as Sarley's love interest, and the fact that she would do a sex scene with her lover's son cemented her celebrity, flamed tabloid fires, and public fascination for her. Number four, Imbrujada. Released in 1969, this is Coca Sarli's version of a demon possession horror film. She plays a barren woman with a latent homosexual husband, and she is so obsessed with being pregnant that she buys a really creepy prop baby to hold and cuddle with, and to an even larger extreme, becomes a prostitute to try to conceive with a strange man to no success. Eventually, she goes insane over the fact that she will never conceive, tricking her mind into believing a demon has taken possession over her soul and or fallen in love with her and said demon will slaughter any man who tries to seduce her. She even has a really bizarre flashback to her past life as an Aztec princess which is pretty hilarious and once again son of director Armando Bo, Victor Bo is her lover main squeeze in the film. Number three, another film also released in 1969, Fuego. Times when I love you, and others when I hate you. Uh, Gazuntite? Fuego. Sarli is a woman on fire, a woman who is truly in love with her husband but cannot control her sexual urges and even keeps a lesbian maid who only services her when she presumably can't find a man. She fights and fucks with her maid, her husband, and a maze of other bodies. She even goes out cruising in silver go-go boots and a giant fur coat, flashing her breasts on a sexual rampage throughout town to any and all unsuspecting men. 
Fuego to me is one of the most hilarious, unintentional comedies of all time. I love the scene where they make out in front of a chicken coop. And the best scene for me is when she fires her maid, who doesn't take it very well and really is quite the scene stealer. Number two, Feribre, released in 1971. This has got to be the strangest film Isabel Sarli ever made, and it is where she falls in love with a horse who may or may not be the reincarnation of her dead lover. And it is a film certainly not for the faint of heart unless you grew up on a farm because there are plenty of graphic trips to the horse breeder that border on fanatical erotic obsession. And there is no actual bestiality ever portrayed on film, but there are just many allusions to it. So it's quite a bizarre cinematic experience to say the least. And number one is Heat, released in 1960. The plot follows Sarley as a woman trying to escape the drama surrounding an arranged marriage to her very rich cousin and an over-controlling lover who won't let her be. She flees on a boat to a frightening island full of vicious seals and horny men. And two yokels, one of which played by Armando Bo, decide to fight over her by tying their arms together with raw seal hide and then beating the shit out of each other with another strip of raw seal hide. It's a very disturbing, jarring scene, and the whole film ha has a disturbing feel to it, but also a very passionate and surprisingly romantic one. <laughs> All of these films are pretty obscure, but I hope that sad fact changes. I hope there's a revival for them. And I just wanted to note that Sarley's work can, their influence can be felt in the flamboyant works of John Waters and Pedro Amadovar. And John Waters even presented Fuego on Logo Network's movies that will corrupt you and noted that he and Divine and Fran Lebowitz would go see these films when they originally came out and all of the Sarley films deserve to be remastered and re-released, preferably by the geniuses at maybe Criterion Collection or Vinegar Syndrome. As of now, you can buy films like Fuego, The Female, Heat, and Naked Temptation through Something Weird Video, one of my absolute favorite video companies. Isabel Sarley bared it all so that today we can casually enjoy nudity without shame, which sounds superficial, but on the bigger picture, she fought government censorship and persecution by bearing her bush for all of us. You have been watching Strangest Films. I'm Jacob Lomax. Like, subscribe, comment, and thank you so much for watching.